Hi everyone, Roy Shepard here. When camouflaging our face for outdoor or forest environments, we need to mask our natural T-shape of the human face. Since childhood, the human face is the first pattern our brain learns to recognize. We start with our parents, and later on in adulthood, we recognize faces everywhere, including in clouds or in trees. To camouflage our face, we need to break that pattern, break the eyes, nose, and mouth T-shape that our brain is so wired to recognize anywhere. There are natural darker and lighter areas, darker like under the eyes or the sides of the nose or under the, the, uh, under the nose and under the, uh, uh, the chin, and lighter areas like the chin, nose, and above the eyebrows. We need to mask these areas and jumble them around so the brain would not recognize our face as a face. There are many techniques for facial camouflage, but in this post we'll uh, focus on the three major techniques that the US military, the Korean military, and the UK militaries uh, have devised for facial camouflage. Just as a note, when we are applying camouflage, we need to cover all the uh, exposed areas of the face, the forehead, the ears, the neck, even the back of the neck. Now, if we're wearing a hat or a helmet, we don't need to go much higher than the forehead. We don't need to enter the, uh, um, the hairline, but if we don't, we should. First, the US military technique is very simple. We start with the darker colors and go to the brighter colors. First, we apply a black splash on our right eye and our left lower jaw area. Then we put a green colored splash on our uh, left eye and our right jawline area. Then we take the brown color and cover the mouth area and neck and a little bit in, on the forehead and covering the spaces around uh, the other colors. We add a few splooshes of, a, of a black and green to fill up the gaps until our entire face is covered with the camouflage. Second, we'll focus on the Korean camouflage technique, which says to have a very thick black line going from the corner of the upper forehead to the lower area of the neck, just a, di a thick diagonal black line going through the eye and the nose down to the neck. Then having an alternating green and black colors until we cover the entire face. We'll have green colors, then black, then green, then black, and so on until our entire face is uh, stripes of black and green. Third, the UK military has a little a different solution for the facial camouflage. They use the natural pigment of the skin as part of the camouflage scheme. So what they do is use very quick stripes in a downward V shape um, on the face. We start with the black color going from the bridge of the nose on the left, going through our eye and the cheek down to our neck. Then on the other side, we have a green color going from a little bit below the, uh, the nose, uh, the uh, bridge of the nose, uh, through the cheek and to the neck. And then a brown color for the other side. Then we alternate between the colors, having um, parts 
uh, of the uh, skin showing brings the entire uh, camouflage scheme uh, to bear in the UK uh, military technique. To sum up, there are many techniques for uh, facial camouflage, but all of them have the basic um, functionality of changing the natural darker and lighter areas of the face to destroy the original T-shaped pattern of the human face, moving the dark and light areas diagonally across the face instead of in a T-shape. This way, the brain doesn't recognize our face as a face. Which is your favorite face camouflage techniques and why? Please share your thoughts with us. I love getting feedback from you and I read each and every one of your comments. If you liked this video and found it useful, please like, subscribe and share the video to help us spread the word. I can't wait to share the next post with you. So until then, stay safe.